Hello everyone, welcome back to Native Engineering. Today we are doing an exercise on air compressors, power machines N6. The exercise that we are doing, it's an exercise that I've taken from a question paper that was written on November 2019. It's question number two and it reads as follows. A three-stage single-acting reciprocating compressor delivers 16 kg of air per minute to an after-cooler whilst rotating at 300 revolutions per minute. The index for expansion and compression is 1.32 and intercooling is complete for maximum efficiency. The initial conditions are a pressure of 105 kilopascal at a temperature of 21 degrees Celsius. The diameter of the intermediate cylinder is 240 millimeters with a stroke length of 296 millimeters. The geometric stage pressure ratio is 4 is to 1. Assume R for A is 0 0.287 kilojoules per kg Kelvin and calculate. Those are the questions. Question 2.1. The volume of air drawn into the low pressure cylinder in cubic meters per cycle. 2.2 for the intermediate cylinder. 2.2.1 The volume of air drawn in in cubic meters per cycle correct to four decimal places. 2.2.2 The swept volume in cubic meters per cycle correct to four decimal places. 2.2.3 the volumetric efficiency, 2.2.4. The clearance volume in cubic meters per cycle, correct to five decimal places. 2.2.5. The cylinder volume in cubic meters per cycle, correct to five decimal places. 2.3. The power required to drive the compressor in kilowatts. And this is the information that we are given. We are told that the air compressor that we are dealing with is a three-stage air compressor. That means our X is equals to three. We are given the mass as 16 kg per minute. We are given rotational frequency as 300 revolutions per minute. The index of polytropic is equals to 1.32. And the stage ratio is 4 is to 1. We are given R. And then this is the PV diagram of the PV of the air compressor. We are given the information of the intermediate cylinder. We are given the piston diameter. And we are also given the stroke length. We are given the pressure, which is pressure number 1. Forgot to write this one. Pressure number one is 105 kilopascal. And we are also given the temperature, which is temperature number one, is 294 Kelvin. This is the information of the initial phase. And then the questions, they say, question number 2.1. The volume of air drawn into the low pressure cylinder in cubic meters per cycle. That is 2.1. We are going to use MRT and equals to PV. We will use the information of the first phase since that is what we are since that's what we have. We are looking for the effective volume. So we are making it the subject of the formula. They said we must calculate for this in cubic meters per cycle. We make this the subject of the formula. We get M R T1 divided by P1. This will give us cubic meters per minute why per minute because our mass is given in kg per minute then from here to remove this we will say here 
we will have to divide by the rotational frequency. We know the rotational frequency is revolutions per minute. And then it will be like this. This and this will cancel. So that we are left with cubic meters per cycle. And then from here, we can continue. Our mass is 16. Our gas constant is 0 0.287. T1, it's equals to 294. P1, 105. Rotational frequency, 300. My answer, I got that it is 0 0.0429. That will be cubic meters per cycle. And then we go to 2.2. 2.2.1 2 They say for the intermediate cylinder meaning everything that we are about to calculate for it's for the intermediate cylinder 2.2.1 The volume of air drawn in in cubic meters per cycle correct to four decimal places We are using MRT again M R T it's a cost to P V. We are going to use this point since we are looking for the volume of air drawn in into the intermediate cylinder. The temperature of the air that is drawn in into the intermediate cylinder is the temperature after the intercooler, which is this right here. We know we will have a line like this, which we call the isothermal line the temperature here it's equals to the temperature here it's also equals to the temperature here and the temperature where the line will end here. somewhere here and then meaning let's name it uh two prime two prime meaning that this will be two prime this will also be two prime we are looking for the effective volume we make this <laughs> the subject of the formula There will be MRT two prime divided by P two prime divided by N divided by N because they also want the volume in cubic meters per cycle and because of our mass if we do not put this we are going to get our volume in cubic meters per minute sort of what we did here and then we substitute sixteen zero point two eight seven times temperature number one which is two nine four and then pressure number two pressure number two we know since we are given the geometric stage ratio p2 divided by p1 is equals to k make this the subject of the formula p2 is equals to p1 times k this we have as uh, 105 this is times 4 and then times 300 we're going to get our answer is 0 0.0107 cubic meters per cycle they told us that we must leave it in for this mile place one two three four and then we go to 2.2.2 they say the swept volume in cubic meters per cycle correct to four decimal places swept volume 2.2.3 is the volume that is associated with the stroke length and the diameter uh it will be area times stroke length that's the volume pi divided by four times uh the diameter of the intermediate cylinder since since we are looking for the information of the intermediate cylinder we have the diameter of the intermediate cylinder and we have the stroke length 0 0.296 this will give us 
zero point zero one three four cubic meters per cycle. 2.2.3 the volumetric efficiency let's write it here 2.2.3 volumetric efficiency it's given by effective volume divided by the swept volume times 100 what is the effective volume it is equals to 0 0 0.0107 swept volume 0 0.0134 times 100 and this will give us an a volumetric efficiency of 79.85 percent then 2.2.4 they say calculate for the currency volume. For this, we are going to use this formula, which is another formula to calculate for the volumetric efficiency. It is in your formula sheet. If you can check your formula sheet, you will get this formula. We are going to use it to calculate for our currency volume. It's P2 divided by P1 raised to 1 minus 1 divided by n minus 1 and then close bracket this is 1 it's not a bracket 1 and then from here we substitute we are going to put it as 0 0.7985 it's equals to 1 minus the volumetric efficiency the currency volume divided by the swept volume which is 0 0.0134 this we know it equals to the stage ratio so we can just put 4 1 divided by 1.32 minus 1 and then close the bracket the only unknown in this equation is the currency volume the same currency volume that we are looking for. So we solve for that and I got that our currency volume is equal to 0 0.00145. They told us to round off to five decimal places and it will be cubic meters per cycle. And then we go to 2.2.5. They say the cylinder volume in cubic meters per cycle correct to five decimal places cylinder volume we know is v1 v1 it's equals to currency volume plus swept volume currency volume 0 0.00145 plus zero point zero one three and this will give us the cylinder volume as 0 0.01485 cubic meters per cycle 2.3 the power required to drive the compressor in kilowatts we will use the formula to calculate for work done 2.3 we'll use the formula to calculate for work done we know work done it's equals to x n divided by n minus one we will use the mrt because we want this m to be included because our m is given in kg per minute and we know power it's equals to work done divided by time in seconds. So this must be included in our equation. We'll carry on with the equation. It's P X plus 1 divided by P1. This in brackets raised to N 
minus 1 divided by xn minus 1 close the bracket let's come here we know our p x is what 3 plus 1 this tells us that this will be p4 we do not have p4 but we have the stage ratio we can calculate p2 from since we have p1 we can use that to calculate for p2 and then from p2 we can calculate p3 from p3 we can get p4 but this is a long process in your formula sheet we have a formula to calculate for work done which is like this x n divided by n minus 1 m r t and then this will be this this will be k raised to n minus 1 divided by n 1 but notice that in this equation here we have x here we do not have x that is what i want to emphasize don't find yourself putting x here while you are using k because that will be wrong of course so whenever you choose a formula you must make sure you understand this part because this can make your answer wrong in a minute so from here we are going to substitute x is 3 and 1.32 divided by 1.32 minus 1 m 16 divided by 60 already we have power because now we are going to get work done per second so this is a power gas constant 0 0.287 times t1294 4 raised to 1.32 minus 1 divided by 1.32 minus okay it's 1.32 and then minus 1 here i got that my power it's equals to 1 1 1.223 kilo watts and that is how we go about answering this question. I will see you on the next lesson.